Hey guys, it's Amber. Welcome or hopefully welcome back. Today is cycle day 14 and I am happy to announce that I got my positive OPK. So since my cycles are anywhere from 26 to 28 days, I was really expecting my first positive today on cycle day 14 and I got it. That is such a relief to me. If you didn't watch my Cycle 3 TTC haul, I definitely recommend you go back and watch that to see everything I'm using. But just a quick recap, I'm using the Pregmate Internet Cheapies. I got them off of Amazon. I think I got the 40 pack for about $10. So really cost efficient, especially when you're taking two a day for quite a number of days. I also got the clear blue digital ovulation predictor kit. I did get the pink one since this is my first time using OPKs. There's a purple one, the advanced one, and for that one I think it shows you your four most fertile days instead of just letting you know when your surge is. But again, this is my first time using OPKs so I just stuck with the most cost effective stuff possible. The clear blue digitals are really expensive, but I think it's nice to see that smiley face. So, I wanna show you my progression. I haven't taken the clear blue digital today. I wanted to save that, so hopefully we can get a smiley face together, but I wanted to show you my progression. Ahead of time, ignore my horrible handwriting and ignore my doodles. I'm trying to make this cycle more positive in more ways than one but here is my progression and hopefully you can see that so i started on day nine very very faint a little darker on day 10 day 11 a little bit darker day 11 at night time a little tiny bit darker day 12 it started to get even darker and yesterday, day 13, I, it was almost positive, so, so close. And then the day 13 p.m. one was even darker, but not quite positive. And then today, day 14, we got our positive. Oh, so I'm so excited. No messing around. These have been so great for something that's so inexpensive. They've been wonderful. It's very obviously tracking the progression so oh that's such a relief I wish pregnancy tests were as easy as these so like I said I'm taking the clear blue pink ones and hopefully we can get a smiley face together and if you follow me on Instagram you would have already seen my progression. There's a up close picture of my progression on there and that's where I let you guys know what's going on first since it's a lot easier for me to communicate over there than it is to hop on and make a video. Because <clears throat> I don't have the community tab. I don't have live yet. I can't go live. So that's just the easiest way. It's fieldsfam underscore vlogs. On Instagram it's also listed below in the description box so you stick it in with the arrows pointing towards each other pop off the pink cap and you dip it for 15 seconds and wait three minutes okay and we're just gonna pop the cap back on and hopefully it will start blinking because these are expensive. I got a 10 pack and I think it was $20 for only 10 tests. Okay, good. So it is blinking, which means that it is working. I'm gonna lay that down. So I'll see you guys in about two and a half minutes and hopefully, hopefully there's a smiley face on there. You guys! Oh, do you see it? Do you see that cute little guy? Do you see him? Who is she? Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. 
Oh my goodness. I really, really wish that pregnancy tests were this wonderful, where you, you get a clear line and then you take a digital and boom. If only, if only everything in life was as easy as these have been. So I highly, highly recommend the Pregnate Amazon Cheapies. And if you wanna go a step further, I definitely recommend these as well. I got a very obvious positive on the internet Cheapies. And I'm so, mm, I'm over filled, overflowed. Over, I'm full of joy. I'm so happy. Oh, and everything's lining up to go a little bit TMI. I did decide to temp again. I forgot if I let you guys know that. I don't think I did. I think I said I was just going to take the OPKs and monitor my CM. But I did decide to temp again. And that has matched up with the OPKs. OP PKs perfectly and as well as my CM CM I can't talk I'm so happy <laughs> I'm so happy <laughs> that everything is coinciding from my temperature to my CM to the cheapies to the digital everything is just all the ducks are in a row so so excited that I know for sure that we caught the proper window so this has been great for me I know exactly win and so like i said in my ttc haul i really recommend you watch that even though i'm gonna probably end up just repeating myself here so sorry if you did watch it i really appreciate it anyways i decided to temp again my temperature has been steadily going up my cm has gone from tmi gross 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 from the sticky to the creamy to the watery and then day 13 when i almost had a positive almost almost um that's when i got the egg white cm and then i have it again today on day 14. so i'm not sure i did take a clear blue digital yesterday i'll show you guys again day 13 the pm is so close it's so close I don't know but day 14 it's like a very obvious positive let me know what you guys think down below because that one was real iffy for me but day 13 I did have the egg white CM and then I have it again today I guess we will know if tomorrow it starts to go down so what I was saying I am gonna use the cheapies all the way through the remainder of my cycle even though i got my positive i'm going to use them all the way through what i'm looking for is i want to see the lh go down i want to make sure that it goes back down that way i know that i most likely ovulated and i also want to make sure that it doesn't go back up again i want it to go back down and stay down and then i want to keep watching my temperature and make sure that that continues to go up. Hopefully I'll be one of the lucky few that sees an implantation drop. Oh, I just have great feelings about this. This has all been going so well. So I'm really, really excited. Hopefully we'll see. It all depends on my OPK tomorrow. If I get another positive, I don't know. Does that mean that I ovulate on day 16? Let me know. I need all the help I can get. I don't know if I'm going to start testing at 8 DPO this time. I'm not going to say I'm not going to. Because I don't want to lie to myself or to you guys. I'm just going to... I'm gonna play it by how I feel. If I really, really wanna test and it's like an overwhelming feeling and I just need to like get it over with, then I will. I'm hoping I can wait until day 10. That would be the best. But I'm just gonna say ahead of time, I doubt it. I know you guys are gonna let me know not to start testing that early, but I can't help it. At least it's not day six, right? Anyways, 
again i'm so 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 excited if you're new here i really hope you decide to stick around well, i'd love to have you make sure you like subscribe and hit the little bell so you know when my first test is probably atpo i'm just i'm saying it now i'm calling it i'm calling it i just know i know myself and i just know so yell at me down below but don't please don't and I'll talk to you guys in about nine days. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh, okay guys. Talk to you soon. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.